and low yatris now what if i tell you you can generate entire block flows by only one single prompt how is that amazing right so as you can see i just give a single prompt where i just say it to create the automation where i upload the video on my youtube it automatically posts on all social medias so after giving the prompt i go at the entire block flows so as you can see here i just need to give the apis to my social media and the workflow would be running perfectly fine so now you can generate in via single prompt and along with your workflows you will be getting the architecture of your anything workflows automatically so here you can see i also got a python file to test it and then you can see the readme file where i got all the information about my architecture so now how we are going to access it how can generate it via mcp server So in this video, I'm going to share with you each and every single steps where you can generate the internet and workflows like this. So on the spot, you will be get to know how to generate the workflows via from. So hit the like button and subscribe to the Arthur Cloud and follow me for more on LinkedIn. You will be get to know each and every AI tricks and AI automation techniques. So now let's get start. First and foremost. Go to your GitHub and first we need to set up the anything in our virtual machine or in our local system. So let's say I am talking about the two types of users. First one, let's say if you don't have a virtual machine, then you can run it via your own local system in your Linux or maybe in your virtual box. Let's say second type of user, you are using the cloud, right? On Azure or on your AWS or GCP. Then you can just create a one new virtual machine running on Ubuntu, and then you need to set up the anything. So if you don't know how to create a virtual machine on Azure on any cloud platform, you can check it out. The video, the link is given in the description. And secondly, I already set up anything in the in Dev with custom domain, right? So if you can check it out, the second video. Now in this video, I'm going to share you. How to set up via Anet and MCP in just one click. So let's first you to update your system if you are new creating the virtual machine. Okay. Secondly, you need to install the Docker and Docker Compose. So I already installed. So third steps, you need to just create your project directory. That was done from my side. So main thing is that you just need to one click file Docker Compose. That's it. And To run this Docker Compose file, you need to create one .dot env file. Okay, so what you are going to do? Just copy the Docker Compose file and create a one folder. And as you can see, I created one Docker Compose file as it is, and secondly, I created .dot env file. Fine. Now, what you can do? If you are running in your local machine, you can keep it the local host here instead of my IP address. Okay. If you are using the virtual machine, then paste your virtual machine IP address. So as you can see, let's go to your Azure. So as you can see, this is my Azure virtual machine, and I just copy this IP address and paste it here. Okay. Now that's it. No need to do anything as of now. As you can see in the Docker Compose file, I added the dot env file. So is it everything still fails from the my dot env file and my Docker will be running. So now I need to run the Docker Compose. So what we can do? We need to run the Docker Compose to start our anything. So as you can see, first we need to type sudo docker compose of hyphen dts. But before running this command, what I suggest if you are using the Azure Virtual Machine. Then first you need to turn on the network rule, inbound rule. Okay, so go to your networking, networking setting. Okay, and as you can see, when you are going to scroll down, just click on the create a port rule, inbound rule, and here you need to add on the five six seven eight, which is our running port of the entity. After click on the add, you are able to see this type of the five six seven eight port access. After that, you are good to go to run anything in your virtual machine. So let's go to cursor and let's paste it. Here. Now you can see my Docker Compose is up to date. So what I can do, right? I just 
open this URL and as you can see my annotation is running now. Okay. After set up your account, you are able to see the page. Okay. Now next step, what we can do? We are going to set up the MCP server. So let's go to your repo, go to your mcp.json file. Fine. So as you can see here, I need my URL. As you can see, if you are using the local host, then keep it as you can paste it via your IP address. And you have to enter your Anaten API key. So how to get Anaten API key? So go to your Anaten dashboard, go to your three god settings, and let's go into the Anaten API. As you can see, I already have the API. And you, what you can do? Uh, you can remove it if you have, right? So let's create a new API. Give the name Anaten API. Whatever you can give. Set expiry date if you wish. I will set it as of now seven days. And just click on the next. Right? So I got the uh, API key, which is only one time visible. So keep it on very secure place as of now. Right? So let's go to your GitHub and I'm just copy this file. Now we need to paste into mcp.json file. So how we can do? Go to your cursor, cursor setting, and go into tools and integration. And here you can see my MCP configuration is error showing. I need to set up it, right? So first I'm going to click on the add custom MCP. And as you can see, which is automatically created mcp.json. Go paste it here. And here I need to enter my IP address. Correct? So go to your Azure, copy, copy the IP address. Let's wait. Yeah, copy this one and paste it here. That's it. Now let's say I want to paste the API key here. Let's uh, go to your annotation, copy this one and paste it here. Fine. After that, what you can do? Go to your cursor setting, right? And let's wait once again. Let's go with this one. Let's remove this currently. Okay, all set. Now go to cursor, cursor setting, tools and integration. Okay, global MCP configuration chosen is saying something error. Let me check once. Okay. Okay, fine. So you don't need to give the comments in the session file. So now you can see each and every anything workflows are connected with my MCP. So see, you can check it out once, right? After that all, everything is set up now. Now, secondly, I need to create a one rule where anything documentation required. So now what happens? Anything documentation will be help out to MCPs to generate the anything workflows. So let's create one. So how to create a rule? So what we are going to do, go to your username. Let's say where I am right now. Okay. Okay, fine. What I going to do? CD, my username is YC. Okay, okay, okay. Let me back once. I guess I am already there. Okay. CD, YC. Now let's uh, go into the dot cursor. CD dot cursor. Go to this. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. CD dot cursor okay now what you can do you need to create one rule right so you can create a one new folder if you don't have i have already so then go to the cd rules as you can give the one command mkdir rules that's it after that as you can see i don't have anything correct but it's wrong it's the hidden files so just click on port dot to open into the new window as you can see, uh, one file, okay, after the loading. So let's wait to load this. So you have to create a one file, right, with this dot uh, mtc extension. And you need to paste this code as it is. How you can find out the code? So go to edit in MCP and this is the file, okay. So copy this one. As you can see, 
what I mentioned, you are an expert in editing automation and all the information is there. Okay, you can see the insights and what you need to take care of the strategies which you need to follow, what if any error circles, right? What if any important rules which you need to take care So everything I mentioned here. So this is help out to the MCPs to generate the workflows, right? So after paste it here, press Ctrl S and save it. And you need to just make sure you are click on the always apply, right? Now, MCP server is set up now. Now you are ready to go to, go to give the prop. Okay, now let's give one command. So let's say I'm giving one command to generate tenanted workflows for my YouTube channel. So first we are going to generate a very quick prompt. So let's go to the chat GPT and paste it here. And say, give me a proper prompt to generate the anything workflow in depth. Sorry. In depth. Automatic. Fine. So let's wait for the output. Mm. Now you can see I got the prompt. So copy this prompt and paste it here. Right. And let's say not use anything MCP. Now let's wait what we are going to get. So you can see this is calling the anything MCPs, right? So first one is going to be list the nodes, okay? And everything is going to be continue. So now let's wait to generate each and every nodes and getting the final output. Yeah, now you can see it's generated, but still it's asking me, do you want a JSON export file? I said, yes, I want in JSON, right? Then you will be getting the JSON file. Sometimes it's generated automatically as you need to give only one prompt to generate the JSON file. Okay, so now let's wait. It's gonna be generating now, and I don't think so. It take much time. Yes, now it's generated now. Let's uh, copy this one. I guess it's not gonna be pasted there. Okay, let's create a new file. Is the door the JSON and test it here, right? Let me download this one. Okay, download into let's send to the Dexo. Go to your browser and let's say when I create a new workflow. Let's say I don't want it. Let's go to the create a workflow. Go to your three dot import from file test dot JSON. So you can see the annotated workflow is generated now, right? So it's very pretty easy, correct? Now you can try it out from yourself if you want to join the Anything Data Cloud community. The link is given in the description. Each and every talk conversations are there. So join now and stay tuned with me in the next upcoming videos. So see you. Bye bye and take care.